The Enhanced Automated Robotic Launcher. Earl is the single greatest piece of bowling technology known to man. But today, a man is going to put Earl to the test. We're going to have man versus machine. We have Chris Barnes, USBC spokesperson, BBA Bowler of the Year, multiple gold medalist, going up against Earl, rookie, hopefully rookie of the year. Um, we've had him for a couple of months. We got got some things ironed out with him, and we're gonna we're gonna see what they can do. I'm excited about this, and, and there's a lot of practical applications that can happen with uh, with a device like Earl that that can repeat at a higher level than uh, than even the, the best professionals. So I'm looking forward to that uh, as the lanes, as the game goes on. Hopefully, he'll have to move a little bit, and I'll uh, I'll count on the human element to keep up. Earl leads off the match with a spare, and Chris Barnes jumps on him early throwing his first seven strikes and talking a little trash along the way. I think we needed Earl to get a couple more warm-up shots in there. But Earl would eventually find his groove. The ability to repeat the exact same shot proves valuable once you know where to throw it. In the end, though, Chris Barnes is just too tough. That's right. <laughs> Man over machine, 259 to 209 this day, as Earl's consistency proves to be his downfall. Yeah, one of the things that's always been a detriment for, for robots is the fact that they hit the same spot on the lane every time, and they're consistent at that. Earl's consistent within you know a third of a board at 15 feet down the lane, so he's taking the oil off where he's already bold, and so therefore, you know, adjustments need to be made to truly can consistently strike and if you're making adjustments it's it's a human that's making the adjustments and we haven't had a lot of time with him quite yet. If you wanted to call it a dog and pony show I think I was supposed to be the dog today but uh, uh, it, it as it turned out uh, he, he struggled a little bit uh, making some adjustments early and and uh, I was able to to capitalize on that at the very beginning and I think his lack of TV experience maybe have hurt him today just a little bit. <laughs> Regardless of the outcome, however, Earl definitely turned some heads. The capabilities are fairly limitless uh, when you have something that, with as much range of uh, options as Earl has, with its ability to repeat, with its ball speed and, and revolution rate numbers that are far beyond what any, any other uh, uh, robot has been able to do before, and beyond what any human can do at this point but it, it serves for the future and it allows to, to see what might come next and uh, prepare for that as well. Bowling's future has arrived at the International Training and Research Center, even if its present still wins on the scoreboard. I'm Matt Lawson for Bowl TV.